एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल सुग्गू एंड जग्गू होम कुकिंग प्लीज सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू डियर फ्रेंड्स डू यू नो यू कैन मेक चना दाल गुलगुले इज इन अ वेरी सिंपल एंड ईजी मैनर दीज आर अ ट्रेडिशनल स्वीट ऑफ साउथ इंडिया मेड ड्यूरिंग द फेस्टिवल्स लाइक नवरात्रि एंड दिवाली एज यू कैन सी दिम दीज राउंड एंड स्मूथ सॉफ्ट गुलगुले इज टेस्ट ऑफ सम विद सम घी सो लेट स्टार्ट मेकिंग दिम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर अ क्रिस्पी आउटर कवरिंग ऑफ द चना दाल गुलगुले we have to prepare the dosa batter in 1 is to 2 ratio for that we have to take 1/4 cup or 80 grams of urad dal in a bowl in another bowl we have to take double the rice here i am taking 80 grams of regular rice and 80 grams of ration rice in adding both types of rice we get a proper crispy crunchy and soft outer covering of the gulgulays so we take 80 grams of urad dal and 160 grams of rice separately wash them properly and soak them at least for 3 to 4 hours now for the chana dal puran in a pressure cooker we will take 250 grams of chana dal wash them properly now add double the water that is 2 cups of water to 1 cup of the dal and add 1/4 teaspoon salt and pressure cook the dal till 5 to 6 whistles come or till the dal is completely cooked keep aside till the pressure releases completely meanwhile we have to take the jaggery and grate it and measure 3/4 cup of the grated jaggery for 1 cup of chana dal grate and keep aside now the pressure of the cooker has completely released check the dal make sure the dal is completely cooked and then strain it with a strainer put the strained dal back into the pressure cooker and put the cooker back on very low heat while the dal is still hot mash the dal into a very soft texture this takes only 2 minutes as the dal is hot and soft so it mashes well but make sure to mash the dal after you strain out the water completely and then only when after the dal is completely mashed to a soft and smooth pulp we will add the grated jaggery and mash the dal again with the jaggery the jaggery will melt easily and blend very well into the mashed dal and we get a smooth halwa like consistency at this stage we will add 1 teaspoon of crushed green cardamom powder and mix well here if you want we can add 1/4 cup of grated and ghee roasted fresh coconut or dry coconut powder whichever is available but coconut powder is totally optional you can skip it totally after this we will put off the stove and cool the chana dal puran completely and keep aside so as to make the chana dal puran balls later on prepare the dosa batter for that we will transfer 4 hours soaked rice and urad dal into the mixer jar and adding very little water we will have to grind it to a smooth and soft dosa batter this dosa batter makes crispy and thin dosas too the batter should be slightly grainy for that special crispiness of the gulgulays to add some taste to the otherwise bland batter we should add a pinch of salt 3 to 4 teaspoon sugar and 2 teaspoons of maida or corn flour and mix everything well to a smooth lumpless batter We should add some maida or corn flour for a good binding of the batter and keep aside the prepared batter. After the chana dal puran is completely cooled, we will make small medium sized balls from the chana dal. Makes around 30 balls from 250 grams chana dal. We will keep aside these balls on a plate. Finally, the process of frying the gulgulays. Heat the oil in a pan, dip the chana dal balls into the dosa batter completely and drop them one by one carefully and slowly into the hot oil. Do not touch them immediately. Let them fry for a minute or so till light color change on one side and then turn them on to the other side. If at all they stick, don't worry, fry them stuck only and separate them only after they fried and taken out. If at all, we try to separate these chana dal balls while frying, they tend to make a hole and puran will come out and And spoil the entire oil as these purans are very very tender here is a clear example of how if separated during frying them they tend to break and the puran comes out and spoils the entire oil as one of them has done over here so be very careful in turning them first drop the batter coated laddus into the hot oil keep the stir on medium heat keep pouring hot oil on top of them till they fry on the bottom then they will easily slide and move then flip them on the other side and fry them without trying to separate them fry on both sides till golden color and then remove them when done on to a sieve enjoy these hot gulgulays with some ghee as you usually eat litti and choka with ghee these taste awesome are soft within and crispy and yummy outside and taste heavenly make and enjoy the south indian traditional recipe sweet chana dal gulgulays 
Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment and stay connected for more interesting videos. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.